Hey guys, how's it going? I trust that your Thinking Thursday is going well and good. I just came up with that. Thinking Thursday. This video has been uploaded because as you may already know, I have an eagerness to learn about the inner workings of the universe. Currently, I'm reading a book that explains how the answers to all of life's mysteries can be found in the human's mind. And what mind is that? your correct subconscious mind. So consider this your user manual for digging deeper into the mind's depths through imagination. Well, this guy, John Azareff, was in the secret as well in 2006, if you recall. Let's help each other realize our potential and make our dreams come true. Please listen to it carefully Wishing an awesome weekend, enjoy and chill. What do you do when you lose something? Look for it. Yeah, I don't want to look for weight that I've lost. <laughs> I want to release it. I like to use language patterns as well that are gonna empower me versus disempower me. Uh, Self-talk is so critical. And so I'm consistently paying attention to how am I speaking to myself? Am I speaking to myself in a kind, motivating, empathetic, compassionate way? Or am I consistently self-deprecating and putting myself down? I used to think a lot of, like, you know, when I was younger, I'm not good enough, I'm not smart enough, I'm not worthy. Um, those thoughts uh, and you know, lots of fear, fear of being embarrassed, fear of failure, fear of being ashamed. And I still have the thoughts every once in a while, especially when I'm setting new goals. Those come up, holy mackerel, they come up so freaking fast. Are, are you smart enough to achieve that? Are you good enough to achieve that? Even when I got into really diving deep into the brain science and even my new book, I, had, I was petrified to release my book. It took me two years to write it because now I'm entering another whole domain of neuroscience and neuropsychology with world-renowned experts that I've worked with for years. But now here I am putting myself out there with, hey, this is neuroscientifically correct. So I had, I had to make sure that it was. Um, and, but there was a lot of fear. Um, but I understand what the emotion of fear is. It's a subconscious trigger that causes this feeling that I don't like. And it's a ghost signal for me, not a stop signal for me. Well, fear is an emotion. Emotions are all triggered at the subconscious level. They release neurochemicals that causes a feeling. We are consciously aware of feelings that are triggered at the subconscious level. The feeling is the end point of the human experience in the physical body. And so when you have something in your brain that, that uh, a neural network says, well, uh, what if this book comes out and you fail? What if it's not good enough? What is scientifically not correct? What if, what if, what if? My brain's gonna process that the same way as your brain and everybody else's brain because that's everybody's brain's the same. The mechanism of how the brain works, it's Einstein's brain, Hitler's brain, Genghis Khan's brain, Tom Bilyeu's brain, John Astor's brain, all the same functionality. So if you understand the mechanics of what's supposed to happen, then you say, okay, great, when I feel this, then what am I going to do? So I, I like to use a, uh, an analogy of a car. You're driving a car and you're talking to a friend of yours and a light pops up on the dash. You don't take a hammer and hit a light. <laughs> it's a signal, something's happening in the, in the, in the, in the engine, in the trunk, in the, in the tire, something's happening. Emotions and feelings aren't uh, positive or negative. They're empowering or disempowering to varying degrees if you don't understand them. And so if you think about fear, right? How does a firefighter go into a burning building when there's this enormous adrenaline and, and epinephrine, you know, that could stop most people dead in their tracks? They learn, here's the feeling, it's normal. Do you have the knowledge and the skills and the preparation to deal with this in a safe way? Go. If you don't, now you'll retreat. So we have this phenomenal brain, right? It's, it's, it's genius abilities. We can't figure out how to re replicate it anywhere with billions of dollars, uh, but we are getting some of the user's manual now. So when you feel fear, what should you do? I teach the first two inner sizes that I teach every one of our students. Number one is called take six, calm the circuits. So if you have this unpleasant, anxious, fearful emotion, energy in motion, right? And it's unpleasant 
and the brakes have gone on, if you just take six deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth like you're breathing through a straw. You will deactivate the stress response center, which means blood is gonna go back to the left prefrontal cortex. The Einstein part of the brain can actually think through this problem, because what happens when the stress response center is activated, blood goes away from that into the fear response, so you have epinephrine, cortisol, adrenaline, to be able to get you out of this situation. It's part of our in instinctual brain, part of the reptilian brain. The first part of the brain that was developed was that, then the mammalian brain, the limbic system, then the neocortex, the thinking brain. So when our brain has this signal of, oh my God, you might get hurt, you might lose this, you might get in trouble, you might be embarrassed, ashamed, ridiculed, judged, etc., that part of the brain is gonna get activated. So if you take six deep breaths first, calm down, calm the circuits first, then do inner size number two is called AYA, A-I-A. The first day is for awareness. What am I thinking right now? What am I feeling right now? What am I sensing right now? What is my behavior right now? So you thoughts, feelings, sensations, awareness of behavior. What's my intention right now? That's the I. Well, my intention is to move forward. I want to do this. Great. What's one very small action step that you can take? Now, the reason you want to take one small action step is one small action step your brain can handle. If it's one small step towards it, the threat response goes away. But if you focus on the end game right away, you're going to get that rush and that instant trigger of the fear response, stress response. So the first thing you want to do is learn how to manage your mindset and what you focus on. Learn how to manage your emotions because they drive your behavior more than anything else because we move away from pain and we move towards pleasure, but we move away from pain a thousand times faster. <laughs> and pain wires in the brain faster for survival mechanisms. So purely from a neuroscience perspective, just understanding self, once you understand, oh, okay, this feeling is normal, okay, what should I do? Take six calm the circuits, Aya, and now you can start being progressive and make progress towards what you want. Now, while you're in the, you know, in the, uh, what am I thinking feeling, it's a chance to be aware. And the biggest gift we have as human beings is our awareness. Because awareness is what gives you choice and choice is what gives you freedom. Most people are living their lives in a reactive state, automatic reactive state because of these set points that we talk, started talking about. So we're in this repetitive cycle over and over and over and over. We react to the same things, we behave the same way, we eat the same foods, we dress the same way, just to maintain that homeostasis and comfort zones. And we've never been taught. Like when, when were we taught it as kids? Like here are your six core emotions. Here's the way you deactivate you know, your stress center or fear center. Here's how you activate your imagination center. Here's how you have more focus. Here's how you develop a new belief. Here's how you develop a new habit. Here's how you release one. We haven't been taught that. We've been told they're important things, but we haven't been given the tools, and then we haven't practiced the tools enough to be able to make them part of our unconscious competence brain.